Hey guys, welcome to Mind. My name's Rachel and I'm going to take you through a flow workout today. So you just leave yourselves a little bit of space to move, a mat. If um, you do have any injuries, any health conditions or anything that you need to swap or change any of the exercise or the postures to, then please do that and make this workout right for you. Okay, so we're going to work on the three T Ys. We're going to work on mobility. I'm going to take you through a section at the beginning where we warm up. Then we're going to work on stability and flexibility throughout the rest of the class. I'll explain as we go. Okay, let's get moving. So, we're going to start off with our feet about hips distance apart. Roll the shoulders back and down. And just take a little squat. Just start to move the body and start to wake up the legs, the hips. Okay, so we're going to start off with some nice deep stretches where we hold and we learn the postures that we're going to use and then we're going to put together in our first flow. Let's go a little bit lower. So take your time and sink deeper into this squat for me. As you're squatting, keeping the back as flat as you can. Okay, I want you to come all the way down to the floor now and hold in a deep squat. So just push the elbows into the knees. Feel the open out through the hips. And see how as I'm walking round through my feet. So team, you can do this class with trainers on or in your bare feet. It's highly up to you. Okay, let's round back up and let's come back down into that squat again, half squat. So just wanting to feel the warmth build through the legs as we wake up, as we warm up. Okay, let's go lower, two down. And then move back up, pushing the heels into the floor as you stand. Now hold in this deep squat this time. And your deep squat might be here. And we might be walking through here. Yeah? Whatever's right for you in your body. Sinking deeper. Depending on your flexibility, everybody's gonna look different in this position. Okay, roll up. I'm going to come into my next posture, a side warrior. So take a big step out on the mat, turn the toe out to the side and bend over this knee. As you do that, the knees are the ankle. Roll the shoulders back and take the arms out. Look down your arm line and look at the fingers. Keep the chin lifted. Once you're in this position, so you can sink deeper into that position, into that warrior stance. A few more seconds, just breathe. Okay, lift up, and let's change sides. So I'm gonna turn this toe, I'm gonna to bring my arms down, I'm gonna bend the knee on that left side. As you bring the arms down, draw the shoulder blades down your spine. Now hold in this position. Look down that finger line, chin is lifted. If you feel confident, sink a little bit deeper into that little, uh, sorry, into that warrior one position. Okay, bring the arms back up. We're going to turn our body to the side and we're going to go into a deep lunge. So as I do that, turn the body, lift the heel at the back and drop down. You can bring your arms down the side or you can leave them over head. Now as we're in this lunge position, push the hips to the left and just start to move and feel that stretch out through the hips. Now if you can, drop the knee right down. If not, stay where you feel comfortable. Good job. Arms can come to sky if you want or they can stay by your side. A few more seconds. Keep this move on. Push yourself back up, turn back to me, and let's change sides. So turn, turn over this right leg, lift the heel at the back, raise your arms, and drop into that lunge. Push the hips forward and just hold. So we're working on stability, we're working on being strong here. If you want to drop down to the knee, and push the hips forward, go for it. Otherwise, hands stay here. Depending on your range of movement, you might be holding here instead. Okay. Team, from here, we want you to come all the way down to the floor. Take the hands down and step back. Knees on the hips. We're going to push to our first down dog. So hands are under the shoulders, tuck the toes under. Now lift the hips and push the weight through the heels. As you're doing that, we lengthening the hamstrings, the calves. Head is tucked under and looking towards the knees as we flatten off the back and feel that stretch, gorgeous stretch for the calves, the back. Just hold for a few more seconds. 
and we're going to do a little posing stretch for this. We're going to come down to up dog. So drop down to the knees. Lower yourself to the mat. From here, hands are under the shoulders. And we'll push it all the way up to the sky. Head up into the ceiling. If this doesn't feel okay, if that's a bit too much, come onto the elbows and lift from here instead. Head towards the sky. Lengthening all the way through the abdominals. Okay, sinking the hips back. I'm coming into a plank position. So our next held stretch is going to be a lunge twist. So I'm going to bring the foot round to my hand. Keeping the hips forward and then opening my arms to the sky. Hand looking towards the fingers. And if that's a little bit too much, you can drop that back knee as you push the hip forward. Even though we're just holding in these stretches, in these static stretches, you'll feel that warmth building throughout the body. Good job. Hand down. Let's change sides. So take that foot back. Take the opposite foot to your hand. Push the hips forward. Open through the hips. Drop in the knee at the back if you need to. Or stay up onto the toe. When you are ready, twist the arm to the sky. Head looks towards the fingers. So we're still getting that twist through the spine. A few more seconds. Okay, hand comes down. Step yourself back. I'm going to sit back into a child pose. So sitting back on the heels and stretching the arms out. Lengthening through the upper body in the back. Resting the head down. And feel that opening through the back and the shoulder blades. So really opening through the back here. As we allow the shoulder blades to fall apart, the armpits. And push towards the mat. Feel that going to stretch through the back of the shoulders. Okay, one more time. I want you to come and lay on your tummy for me. Elbows on the floor. I want you to now lift into a half cobra. And then turn the head to the cobra and shoulder. Just feel that twist through the back as you do that. Let's change sides. The head back to centre. And then just twist and look over the shoulder on the opposite side. Feel that twist all the way through the back as we do that. Head back to centre. Hands under the shoulders. And start to push yourselves back up to standing. Rounding through the heels as we stand up. Okay, so we're going to come into our dynamic stretches now. We've introduced some of the stretches in set one. In set two, we're going to keep the same feet, but we're going to I'll show you how we can move them a little bit more into a flow. So we're going to take our feet wide. Our first move is a breathe flow. So it's the squat we did in round one, but your arms are going to brush the floor. So if you can, fingertips brushing the mat, but without leaning forward. So take a look, my back stays flat, and I sink low. Now, your squat might look like this, and that's fine. You just come in as deep as you can, and the more you do this, the more you're going to be able to feel the hips opening, feel the lower back loosening up. So we're working dynamically, we're moving through these flows, through these stretches, through these postures to promote mobility and flexibility throughout the joints and the muscles. We've got about another 10 seconds. You are moving at a pace that suits you. So each of this flow section is going to have these movements that you decide the pace. Okay, we're changing. Next move, side warrior. Remember it? Turn over the right leg. Now we're going to bend and we're going to come back. So we're moving into that side warrior, rolling the shoulders back. Now listen, I want you to stay on the elbow, on the knee. Now this arm is going to circle. Look where the arm goes as we start to open through the shoulder joint and we're now stabilizing in that warrior hold. Let's do one more circle. Good. Now push up. I'm going to change sides. Into that side warrior on the opposite side. Moving into it first. Relax in the shoulder blades. Okay, let's hold. Hold and be still. Bring the elbow down. Circle this arm all the way around. 
Think about that little finger leading. And we open our chest and we open our shoulder. Okay. We're gonna turn into our lunge position. We practiced it. So turn and drop the knee to the floor and push the hips forward. Take the arms overhead and then we can come back down or you can stay high. If this doesn't feel okay to you, you're gonna drop, there you go, you're gonna lift the knee and hold in that lunge but then the upper floor. Now just hold, just hold, just feel that stretch. Lovely. Okay, push up, we're gonna change sides. So move up and change onto the opposite leg. Turn yourself around, drop down into that half lunge position. Push the hips forward. And you might want to feel that dynamic stretch here as we pulse. Arms go up, look to the fingers, and then come back. Do it again. Arms come up, look to the fingers, and then come back. Ever so slight back bend. As we lift here, and then come back. Good job. Let's just do one more. Now take the hands down. We're going to move down dog to up dog. So toes under. I'm going to lift into a down dog position. Hold for a few seconds. Then bring that forward. I'm going to push from here and lift to up dog. Eyes to the sky. Toes to up dog and I move back to down dog. You are holding as long as you feel you need to in each of these stretches. And then the elbows. I dive and push through and come to up dog. Keep that going, keep flowing through the movements. And if you want to pull into this up dog, you can drop down onto the knees or lower to the mat, and then push back up. Find that movement that works for you. Let's go one more time. From here, we are changing to a lunge twist. So I'm coming into that plank position. Bring the left leg through to the hand. Now into that low lunge. Watch, the arm moves up and then I'm going to thread through underneath my opposite arm. So the little gap you have, we're now adding spinal rotation to this stretch. Keeping the hips down low. Lovely. The great mobility in the lower back and the hips. Okay, hand down, change sides, opposite foot forward, find this pulse first, and then open. Open the arm to the sky. Now thread the arm through, and then come back. Arm to sky, and then thread through. How are we doing? Lovely. stretch. A really good movement for the lower back. Okay, step back into child pose. So stretch the arms through now. Now we're going to come go into that cobra. So we're going to push through just on the elbows and then look over one shoulder. Good, come back, push back into child pose. Stretch the arms away. And then slide along the floor. Half cobra, turn and look over the opposite shoulder. Feel that twist in the back. Back to center. One more time, sit back. Stretch. Then slide along the floor. Lift up, turn the head. One more time on the other side. Push yourselves back. Lengthen the fingers away. Slide along. Lift up and look over the shoulder. Back to centre. Team will come into step. Push yourself back onto all fours. Put the toes under and walk the hands into the toes. Roll up. So, we are now going to put those moves together in a little flow sequence. So, what's going to happen? We're going to work for the next three minutes. And each of those moves we've just done, we're going to do one or two reps on each time. I will lead you through the first round for you to 
remember all the exercises. And then if you want to work at your own speed, your own pace you can do, or you can just stay with me. So we're going to start with that breathe flow where the fingertips touch the floor. Okay, three minutes. Feet wide, let's flow. Let's go. So I'm going to do two of these big sweeps all the way down. I'm going to turn into my side warrior. Hold here. Now I'm going to take my elbow to my knee and I'm going to circle the arm around. Now I'm going to turn and drop into that high lunge. Two move in ones and then I'm going to drop down to the floor. I'm going to do a little back bend and hold here. Now I'm going to take my hands down. From there, step to down dog. Now I'm going to move to up dog. I'm going to do that one more time. Toes up to down dog. Now I'm going to move to up dog, bend the elbows, and lift. Now I'm going to bring my foot to my hand, and come into a long lunge. I'm going to take the arm to the sky, and twist. Now I'm going to thread through here. Under, and lift. One more, one more. Good job. Now I'm going to take that hand down, I'm going to step back to down dog. Hold here for a few seconds. And now I'm going to walk the hands back to my feet. We're going to do all that on the opposite side. Roll up and take the feet wide. Ready for those two swings? This time, let's go. Down. And then. Now I'm going to turn into warrior on the opposite side. Bend over the knee. Now I'm going to stay in there. Elbow down. Circle this arm. Two big circles round. I'm going to turn my back knee and hold strong in lunge. Drop the two, and then hold down in that stretch. Small back bend if you want. Eyes to the sky. Hands come down. Step back into that down dog. Now I'm going to take this through to up dog, and lift. One more time. Toes under, back to your down dog. So, from here guys, one more up dog. And then we're going into the low lunge. The foot nearest me again if you change sides. So make sure we're working the opposite side to last time. Arm to sky. Reach up. Now I'm going to thread that through. So come up under the arm and lift. Do one more. Under the arm and lift. Hand goes down. Step back to down dog. Push your weight through the heels. Now walk the hands to the toes. Bend the knees. And round up. Should we go one more time? Yeah. Take the feet wide. And let's do that. Arm swing. One more. Right there. Now turn over the right side. Side warrior. Bend. Hold here. Hold here. Elbow down. And circle the arm. Work through the shoulder. Turn that back toe. And drop into the lunge. Now drop to the floor. Push the hips forward and hold. Hands come down. Step that foot back to down dog. Push the weight through the heels. Come to up dog. Lift the head to the back. Toes under. Back to down dog. Bend the elbows. Lift to up dog. Now, lift the plank and bring the foot nearest me. Into low lunge. Thread that through now. Twist and lift. One more time. Set the foot back to down dog. Walk the hands to the toes. Bend the knees and roll up. One more round. Feet wide. Yes? You with me? Let's go. Floor. Breathe. One more. Open into side warrior. Stay with the arm on the knee. Circle the arm round. Now turn and lift into that lunge. Drop down. Now stay down this time. Small back bend if you want. Push the hips forward. Lovely. Hands come down. Step that foot back to down dog. Push the weight through the heels. Flatten off the back. Lift. Uh, sorry, lower to up dog. 
One more, move back. Bend the elbow, foot drop. Now it's the foot nearest me, low lunge, pulse. Turn the arm to the sky, reach. Ready to thread that through? This time, under and in. One more time. Well done. Hand comes down, step back to down dog, push away through the heels. Last time, walk the hands to the toes, bend the knees. Well done, guys. Get some water if you need it. <clears throat> Quick drink. We are now heading into our balance section. So a section where we're going to work a little bit more on stability now when I can walk. And we've done our flow. Okay, I'm just going to grab some water. I'll see you on the mat in 10 seconds. So these moves that we're going to work through now, <clears throat> as I explained before, if you want to take your trainers off, go ahead and do that now. I've just got a little bit of an injury where I need the support from my trainer. But you might feel that you can get your balance better now with your trainers off. Okay, we're going to start with a tiptoe squat. So to start us off, hands are here. We're going to squat down and then just lift up and hold on tiptoes. Whoa. <laughs> Let's see if you can get better than me. Okay, so we're going to squat and then lift up onto tiptoes. I'm going to show you this way because that's not bad, but I can come on my tiptoe. Squat down, tiptoe. Now, if you can, keep off onto the ball of the foot for the whole of the squat. Switch on the core and sit as deep as you can. Good. Okay, we're going to move straight away into a star. Stand on the right leg and then lift the left leg up. Now you need to tighten here and squeeze the glutes. Hands out so we're making that stand. Now we're gonna, or you're gonna feel, we're gonna feel, this little supporting leg over this next few balances is gonna really feel it. When we're balancing, focus your eyes to help you. Keep breathing, keep breathing. Nice deep breaths. So we're trying to keep, maintain our balance on this right side. We've got five more seconds here, guys. Now start to make your way back up. Don't let that leg drop. We're going to come into a knee hold. So arms are out. Or they can be above your head. Just hold that knee. Find your centre. Pull the abs in. If you want to work harder, extend the leg out. And hold your straight leg. Squeeze, hold, that's top right, if that's no good. Back to that knee hold, whoa, I'm wobbling. Sorry. Okay, straight leg if you want. Now our next move, we tip forward and we make an aeroplane. So fix your eyes on the floor, arms go out like aeroplane wings, and then our upper body tips forward. How's that supporting leg? Can you see me from the side? So I tip forward, my back is flat, my leg, is parallel to the floor if we can. 15 seconds. How are you doing? Four, well done. And it's okay if your leg's not that high yet. That's what we're working on. Now, we've got one more exercise here. Standing split. I'm going to take my hands down to the floor. I'm going to try and straighten the front leg as much as I can and extend the back leg high. So see from the side, front leg is straight as you can. Back leg pushes high in that floor, just stretch now. All the way down that front leg. Now I'm sure you won't forget, but remember we work the right side, because we're going to do all of that on the left side. Have a good look. Bring that leg down. Bend the knees and roll back up. Remember that tiptoe squat? Of course we do. Feet hip distance apart. Let's go. Sink low, and then push up onto the tiptoes. Or stay on the tiptoes and balance through the whole of the squat. By having the arms up, by being on the balls of the feet, it's throwing you off centre. It's challenging your balance and your stability. Ten more seconds. You with me? Five more seconds. Now, remember that star. Stand on the left leg. Take the arms out. Focus. Balance. Let's go. So we lift. We tip and make that star shape. Engage your glutes. Pulling the 
till my knees. If you pull up, if you're strong, it will help you balance. 10 more seconds. Think you balancing could be so hard, right? Three seconds. Now, without wobbling, come up into that knee hold. Arms up or out to the side. Pull up, pull up, pull up. Relax the shoulders. Try not to take tension in the neck. If you want to work harder, extend this leg. Relax the shoulders and breathe. Ten more seconds. You can be better if you prefer. Next move is our airplane. Hands come out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Take that leg back and tip forward. Whoa. Take this hand to the back. 
come up onto the knees, push the hips forward. Now take this hand over your head. Push the hip forward and the knee back. You feel this stretch from the hip, from the knee on the floor, all the way down here. Open the hip flexors. Five seconds. Lower yourself back down. Bring the back leg forward. Hamstring stretch. So flex the foot. Sit tall. We don't want to round the shoulders. We want to hinge from the hips and keep this leg as straight as we can in between the hamstring stretch. Leaning over that front leg. Sit down low. 30 seconds, guys. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Oh, let's just see if you can walk the fingers out. Just that legs a bit closer. Well done. Release that stretch. Walk the hands back in. Guys, come over onto your knees. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips. So I'll find a few stretches, child pose. I want you to sit back. So knees are wide enough that the hips can sit in between the knees now. And walk the hands out, drop down, flatten the back to the mat. Come as down as deep as you can into this final stretch. Resting the head down, walking the fingers away. Okay, come up on second and thread one arm through, dropping the shoulder into the mat stretching through the shoulder as we thread the needle, head turns to the side, as we lengthen down the side. Come up and change sides. From here, take this hand through, drop the shoulder down, sit back.